Do you remember the first song you ever wrote and the feeling of it? When I was 11, my dad bought me an Arthur Godfrey Islander ukulele hmm. that was made by the McAfee company that made Django Reinhardt's guitars. Right. McAfee got into plastics <laughs> after World War II. Right. And so the Arthur, Arthur Godfrey had a radio show from the beach at Waikiki and he did his thing from there and had there was a, an important show there called uh, Hawaii Calls from just after World War II all the way to the 70s and it featured all the Honolulu musicians that were around because this was a the war was over and it was like let's go to Hawaii you know right. let's go surfing right. or whatever and then the whole surf phenomena in the the 50s and so by the 50s I was you know strumming on my own ukulele and I was 11 years old so and we had heard nothing on the radio of rock and roll and one day I came home from school and I turned on my favorite radio station which was a a gospel station out of Boston called, called WILD mm -hmm. and they were playing Buddy Holly's That'll Be the Day and I thought well I didn't think it much of it you know it was just another song and I turned to the next station they were all playing <laughs> so there I am playing on my McAfee plastic ukulele <laughs> and uh, just kind of learning these little country tunes and this and that you know and all of a sudden you know here comes Little Richard with Womp Bom Balloon Bom Balloon Bam Boom and it kind of like, you know, I, I've been going to square dances, you know, doing just the kind of like living in the country kind of thing. The, uh, the paradigm changed, you know. It, it, was, it was the revolution that began, you know. This is before Elvis hit, but I mean, I was still playing that ukulele when Elvis appeared on the cover of Life magazine and we were hearing his stuff on the radio and this whole phenomena was taking over the world. So this was starting to happen and I was just about to start with my own little four-piece rock and roll band, five-piece, called the Cupids. And we went down to Cape Cod to stay at my, my grandfather's house that he had rented. He and his folk, his, some of his immediate family were there in a little old uh, town, it was a small then, called Wakoit, Wakoit Harbor. And one night we went blueberry picking and I brought all these blueberries back and they had a cook called Minnie, Minnie the cook and she made a blueberry pie and everybody had a little bit and I had a lot <laughs> and I was just kind of uh, in a blueberry pie coma and I wrote my really my first song what did you call it? blueberry blues <laughs> <laughs> blueberry blues blueberry blues Someday you're going to have them too. They're a special kind of blues made only for a fool. That's not bad for 11. Well, I had that. The, I had the ukulele <laughs> chords. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's a guitar here. I'll play it for you. Huh? 